Okay, let's cut the BS. No one likes a long intro. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to build an AI app or software in literally a couple of minutes using this new software called lovable.dev. And I'm even going to be showing you, if you keep watching, how it compares to something like bolt.new, which a lot of you have been using. And I think it's even better. So you're in for surprise in this one. So let's just say hypothetically to get the ball rolling, we're going to be creating a website for a personal trainer. Now, obviously, I'll be showing you how it compares to bolt.new. And then if you keep watching, I'm actually going to be showing you how to integrate it on the back end. So it's like a complete free training, this video, basically. Um, so yeah, let's just put a prompt saying something like, um, I want you to create a website for a personal trainer. I want the offer to help overweight women get in the best shape of their life and have the CTA, so call to action, as a free coaching session. Um, and that will be done through an application form. So let's click enter and see what it does. And then we're also going to actually put this prompt into bolt.new, the exact same prompt. And I'm gonna be showing you the difference in terms of the front end website. And then I'm also gonna be explaining why Lovable is so much easier to use. And it's a lot more beginner friendly because we can actually use this platform called Superbase to actually store the backend information. So what this means is as you can see, it's obviously doing the code on the front end without us doing anything. So you don't even need to literally know any type of code, which it's crazy and it's only going to get better and bigger in 2025. So that's why you should subscribe because I'm going to be covering everything in 2025. So you definitely don't want to miss that. Um, but as you can see, both softwares are building the front end website. This is the craziest thing ever to turn your ideas into actual applications or software. So as you can see, it has created uh, this landing page and you can see the bolt.new has also done it. Now you can see that in my opinion, Lovable's one is a lot better in terms of the UI. So I love the fact that, yeah, it's encouraging them to start their free coaching session. And if we click on this, you can see that it's an application form, just like what we asked for. Um, and Okay, so it's just created the website and Bolt.new has also created the website. And in my opinion, Lovables looks a lot better. I like the UI a lot more to so the user interface. And I love the fact that it's pointing the person to basically get their free coaching session. Whereas with Bolt.new, it says start your journey. So I feel like Lovable understands more business and yeah, the freemium model, which is typically what the biggest software companies in the world use, which is to get people onto their platform for free. And that's what it's done right here with the free CTA. Um, and obviously, yeah, it's got yeah some things down here, it's the success stories. Um, so it's now pretty much way better than the bolt.new version. In my opinion, it looks a lot better at least. Um, so the final thing is obviously you can make changes as you, as you demand. So if you want to add something else like a DSL, an application form down here, you can literally do that. So it's not a huge difference, but what is a difference is how easy it is to integrate Superbase, which allows us to collect the information on the back end. So if we click on this and what you're going to do, so I'm going to be walking you through this, like you would be doing this yourself to make it really easy for you to understand. So if we click uh, connect Superbase, you can see that it's going to make us authorize the API um, access for Lovable. So all you need to do is go down here. And before this, you do need to just go onto Google very quickly and search for Superbase, which is like really easy to do. And then once you do this, you can basically create an account. So you can create a free account um, just by clicking start your project. And that will pretty much automatically integrate it right here. So once you've created your organization inside Superbase, you can then actually just grant it API access. Um, so if we click it, you can see that within a second or two, it's gonna basically connect Superbase to Lovable or vice versa, um, which is amazing because that is what it's done. As you can see, it has successfully done that. Um, so it's connected or you can yeah, click to connect here. And the reason this is so insane is because it's actually gonna create the columns tables for us. So what this means is that when someone lands on our website, whether you're building a website for yourself or for a client, it's gonna actually be able to collect the data inside Superbase for us. And it's even creating the table column for us right now. So it's like an all in one place. And this is why I'm a big fan of Lovable. And I think it will probably take over Bold or New just because, you know, the ease of integrating the front end to the back end is very, um, yeah, more accessible to beginners like me because I can't code for the, my life. So <laughs> once you load up superbase.com, you can actually go over to the left and click on table editor. And what you'll see right here is the option to create a new table if you want, or you can have the one that you linked to the website. So if we take this one, you can see that it's actually got 
the ID and it's got created at, so whenever someone opts in on this website, which is the one that it created within seconds, it's obviously gonna show all that data right here. And obviously it's got the email, uh, something that we do need to include, because as you can see, we want the phone number. So if you want to add parts or rows, columns to this table, you can very easily just call this like phone number as an example, select the uh, column type that you want. So yeah, this could be something like text to be honest, because it's very simple. Um, and then you can see that it's creating the column. You can see that it's now got it. So what this means, when people fill this out, obviously it's gonna show in the back end right here, which is amazing. And because you've stuck to the end of the video, I wanted to give you an extra bonus to increase the value of this video. So what I have done is created an AI app cheat sheet with proven validated offers that you can use to sell to the market today. So yeah, there's literally five, so make sure you keep watching. So the first one, this is trending at the moment. Content is only gonna get more valuable. All businesses will need a content department, whether it's in-house or they may hire someone like you or pay for the software that you could be the owner of. So for example, a B2C AI content app is something that is very important. A lot of people want to automate content scripting, ideas, editing, because people are realizing the power of personal brands. So you can just be the middle person and use a software like Lovable to literally create this in a matter of minutes. If you were to spend an hour, just 60 minutes creating this, you could 100% have it uh, dialed in a lot better than what I've built right here, which was, yeah, something I built in two minutes. Um, so yeah, how you would actually build this would be creating a GPT, I assume, on the back end with a knowledge base of analyzed viral pieces of content. You could use, yeah, you know, podcasts, you could download those as PDFs, upload it to the GPT, and then the front end would be built on Lovable. You'd collect information uh, through, yeah, the super base, which I showed you how to do, and link it together. And then you could obviously sell this uh, through emails, SMS to actually get paying customers. So hopefully that makes sense in terms of you would, yeah, create the front end, just like what I created right here. You'd collect info, and then that would automatically get put onto an email sequence, SMS sequence to get them on a payment plan. Um, so that's the first thing. So the next one is a B2B lead generation for service providers. There's about 900,000 people per day that get access to the internet, and let's say five to 10% will start an online business. That is, well, if you do the maths, that's like 50,000 people per day that are most likely gonna start an online business. So with that being said, instead of fighting the competition, you can just be the middleman, like what I explained right here, like you know, Instagram, TikTok, all these platforms, like even YouTube, YouTube doesn't post content. Like you have to understand that they are the middle person. So you can make a lot of money being the middle person. Um, so you can use, yeah, in terms of creating this, yeah, you could use uh, make.com and Appify on the back end. And I've actually created a video on my channel around how to yeah, build lead scrapers and stuff like that. But that's the second one. Third one is gonna be a high ticket B2B partner model. Is you offer their landing page being built out, email sequences, content management, things like that to coaches, consultants, maybe online service providers mostly. Um, but you could also do this for local businesses. The uh, next one is going to be AI voice agents, which I think is gonna get increasingly more valuable and in demand in 2025. So yeah, especially like gyms, HVAC, roofing companies, all of these businesses, they need someone to call leads when they opt in. Speed to lead is very important, but instead of having a human who may be sleeping, who may be doing something else, you can basically install AI voice agents uh, for inbound inquiries really well. So it works both for customer support and as an AI sales agent. You can obviously do either or both. Um, but yeah, this is something that's becoming increasingly popular and you would use 11 labs to clone your voice. And that leads me to the fifth one, which could be an AI audiobook summary on Spotify, which I've seen work quite well. And this basically just, uh, yeah, you can use 11 labs to, um, to clone your voice or someone else's voice and it could do summaries of books. Um, and then obviously you could sell them on whatever you want, to be honest. Um, I know there's a lot of these on Spotify and they work quite well. Like I listen to some of these every day, like uh, 20 minute books or best book bits. These are like Spotify things. I'll actually recommend them to be fair because like it's pretty solid. It's good information just sped up. That's the video for today. It was a shorter one, but definitely like and subscribe because I've got some way, way, way better videos coming soon on my channel. And yeah, just to stay updated with the latest AI automation content so you can get a massive edge over the competition. So I love all of you. Definitely subscribe to not miss those future videos and I'll catch you in the next one. Take it easy and have an amazing day.